What is up, my peeps? Getting back on the bike it is nice out. Oh my goodness. It's the beginning of March. However, it is about like 75 degrees. Crazy. Oh, it is nice to be on the bike. I'm enjoying it. Gonna go, uh, gotta go to the motorcycle store and get some Earl. Do the Earl change. It's that time already. So, so speaking of oil changes too, um, my jet ski that I have, I got a Honda F12X, a turbocharged jet ski. That thing is a blast. Unfortunately, every year it seems like I gotta change the darn plugs on it, but heck, each of those plugs are expensive. It takes some iridium specialized spark plugs. Who knows? Plus the oil. And every time I get out of it, it's always like 300 bucks after I get done out of the shop with that thing. But hey, it's all part of having a toy. But let's talk about maintenance today. You know, it's maintenance. You know, a lot of people are like, oh, it, you know, I, I don't do that many miles on my bike, this and that. Well, it's like a jet ski. You know, it's a four stroke jet ski, so. You know, you, you got to change the oil. Oil breaks down after a while. That's the reason why they say, generally on vehicles, you know, X amount of miles, 3,000 miles, or, or, uh, I think it's like three months. So, you know, the oil breaks down. And, I can move. You want to race? <laughs> Let's see, two stroke or 250 versus Duramax. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> awesome sport. Awesome. <laughs> oh my goodness. Ah, oh, it is one of those days. It is a good day. Like I said, it, it's gorgeous out. I'm going to repeat that I don't know how many times. And you know what? I don't care. I don't care what you think. I'll take the Jeep too, though. And the BMW. Hey, there's our Jeep again. Oh, the dude lost his phone. That sucks. What do you do? Throw it out the window? <laughs> Pot calling the potato black over here! <laughs> oh shit. So, speaking about, you know, we, we had our conversation about maintenance. Let's talk about stupid shit that we've done. <laughs> Story time! Oh, this has probably been, god, 2008, 2000, uh, end of 2007. Something like that. And, uh, I was with my buddy. Actually, his, his brother. And, uh, I got, his wife was causing some issues, and his buddy called me bitching, and his wife grabbed the phone and was bitching at me about some stupid shit. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> I got pissed. I freaking, uh, Freaking, my buddy had his window down for whatever reason. I don't even know why, because the freaking AC in my truck is awesome! And, uh... And, uh, da, 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 lost track here. Oh, but anyways, he had his window down for whatever reason. Well, I freaking just jumped. The freaking, like, I just did one of these numbers. Except with my right hand. It's almost like, Wee! it is like, Wee! it's almost like a freaking frisbee. 
and uh, <laughs> and it just like flew out. And it was on 45. I was getting on to 45, I 45 here in Texas. And uh, it just flew out the window. Thankfully, it didn't hit no cars, but a freaking car ran over it. So I was like, whatever. Thankfully, I was able to. Uh, I, I pulled the sim or not the sim. Yeah, I was able to pull the sim card out. And I was able to pull out my micro SD card for my pictures. So I had all my contacts and pictures. And, uh, that was all shiny, but, yeah. Oh, wait, well, that just goes to show you how not to get mad about stupid stuff that's out of your control. <laughs> yeah, I had to end up buying a new phone. That was, at the time, that was the very first. Android phone, so it was the T-Mobile G1. That thing was awesome. It had like a flip-up uh, screen, so you can. It looked like a regular phone, and you're holding it, screen and everything. Well, afterwards, so essentially, you can use like a regular, regular touchscreen like you would nowadays. Well, if you flip it up, you have a full QWERTY keyboard. Quart, quart, QWERTY, QWERTY, TORQUEY. I don't know. English. <laughs> but, yeah, that was uh, one of the stupid things that I did. And like I said, it, it, it's nothing that you can do about it. I mean, I'm a third person in this story, you know, essentially. But she was bitching at me about him. Who knows? These people here in front of me, behind me, probably wondering, what in the fuck is this person doing? Little that they know. I'm talking to myself! Yay! I'm special! At least that's what my mama always told me. <laughs> oh, man! Ugh. It's like I get on this bike and I just have so much energy. I could be sitting at home, being bored, not wanting to do a damn thing. And I'm like, you know what, I'm going out for a ride. I get on the bike, and I just have tons of energy. It's like, I let's get this item! Oh, in one of my previous videos, I was also complaining about uh, this jacket that I got on. About it being cold. Well, my core staying warm, but my arms being cold. I'll tell you what, jacket, not so great for the winter. I need a long sleeve, uh, a long sleeve on underneath it if I'm going to ride in 40 degree weather. However, during the summer, right now, it is perfect. It's a Joe Rocket, at least I think it is. Yeah. It's a Joe Rocket, uh, uh, jacket. I mean, it, it was given to me by my father. I am not going to complain. It's, uh, I ain't going to complain for free gear. I mean, it's, if you ride motorcycles, you know how expensive gear can be for good gear now yes there are great gear you know you got gear like icon and gear like all uh all star all star i think it is those great gear and then you got your your cheaper brands you know and i don't know all the name of the brands and yaddy yaddy that place is awesome looking. No, it's a wedding place. No wonder! And, but, freaking red lights, man! But, and, and yes, cheap gear. Eesh. You know, cheap gear is cheap for a reason, but you get into your more um, expensive gear, yeah, it's better for a reason. 
But like I said, I ain't going to complain for free gear. Now, granted, once I get a different, I'm probably what I'm going to do when I get a once I get a different bike, um, I'm going to buy a new set of gear. At least that's the plan. And uh, you know, kind of go from there. But I'm actually looking at Icon. And now, actually, the helmet that I have is an Icon helmet. A small little group ride. Hell yeah. No complaints. So, another one of those things that I'm just yabbling about. Oh, freaking, come on. <laughs> well, unless I come across something else. I'm going to say that's the end of this video, but remember, it's your life, run with it.